I don't know if the door actually bounded the nade back or if Art missed it. But then Honda with the team kill took all the wind out of the sails and Zaiwu with another phenomenal CT sided pistol right there. So Vitality off to a fly. What to do with him? He's coming in on this late lurk into the B site. The B players should be aware of oh, this, they right? They're very, very cognizant of this idea. They're holding on for it. Hampus is kind of like... Uh, this position is either going to make or break the round, it feels like. Either yeah. he dies just being trapped out on an island. And oh, oh Nafani's in midair! How? Oh, we don't have to theory craft because it's all been torn away. It's not and Bubski has decided he's willing oh. to risk it all on this deep angle. And it's given that first kill over. So Jeez. now someone else has got to make up for this. Magis can do pre, might just be those men as they come in with a few kills apiece. Oh. Twist takes matters into his own hands. And suddenly, FaZe Clan might be on their way to their first and only T side round. Oh, he's eviscerated them. Four kills, maybe an ace. Zip has snuck up the ladder, but Twist has his right idea, and he's going to close it out as well. This tournament is full of aces, full of plays, and full of land CS. Didn't get anything. Electronic has found the opening for Na'Vi, and now they put pressure onto the a bomb site, putting a lot of pressure onto it, and Alistair crumbles underneath it. Renegade's held off. 3v5 for Na'Vi. Great start to the second half, but can they close it without too much of a nightmare? Ends has found a headshot. Hats has gone down to simple. Simple is looking for more of the P250. He will do that as well. A second kill comes in for him. And Sicko hiding in cubby. Simple hunted him down. Three kills in the pistol for him. And now we find five. CT1 for a strike will do nothing. Olaf has beat hit to the punch. And Smoke Olaf landing. has a molly too. They've got to go. They've got to run right through. Zip gets the headshot. Olaf doubles up down from in spawn. And it's all falling apart here. Astralis. But that won't be Renegade's bread and butter. That's a round where they tried yeah. to switch up. Now we'll probably see them go back to their slower play. And now we'll get to see if it can work against the full gun round. And a lot of those quicker plays in Inferno didn't quite work out for Renegades yesterday either, right? They tried some of those quicker plays. And I think OG handled them pretty well. It's these slower rounds. Like you're oh! saying, and what a shot from Alistair. Flick headshot onto Boomich. Someone check his arm. It must be broken at this point. That flick was just... Why would you want to leave here right now? Astralis, are they about to go back to basics? Back in with a B play. Magisk oh. certainly seems to think so. There's the opener. Twist, a lot of pressure is on you now. The fate of FaZe okay. resides okay. on Twist, and he's not crumbling under the pressure. Oh, on for the ace, and he's going to take down oh. five to keep it alive for FaZe Clan. He holds his own. Look at him go. That's what wow. the loan. Inside of the site, door being played with right now, allowing Hatches to try and get into the site. Perfecto's playing with his food right now. Simple at the other side, just stretching him thin, and Hatch goes oh. forward and he gets knifed. Strikes straight in the chest, and is now V winning the pistol. A little too late, they've already lost two players from it, and now Bit is alone. Bit in a one versus five, and he's yet to post more than three kills. This is going to look real difficult for a bit. He's looking for all these angles. Doesn't know where they could be, but finally gets one into in. Drops down into the side of the site and actually got a timing on the smoke there. He's found another one. Bit coming alive in the clutch here. He's going to go for the fake tap onto the bomb to try and pull another into his crosshair. I think at this point, Renegades are starting to sweat a little bit. Bit with another one. This could be an incredible clutch for a bit. Quiet all game, but then explosive in such an important round. Once again, taps the bomb to pull Renegades. He's got the 1v1 fights here. He's got them pinned, one at Banana, one Ruins, but Bit has tapped the bomb again. Another headshot, it just about misses out. Hats with a 4K. Bit, that is just an NT right there. Such a nice try to pull off the 1v5 clutch. There's not much more you could ask of him. The utility is keeping Na'Vi at bay. Simple, making some noise on Long. Maybe trying to bait some attention in his direction, but Malta's AWP is still oh. focused on short. Got flashed off, got info though, before he was blinded. And what a pick on towards Simple, but boom, it's a perfecto. They find a double, and it's now all on Sicko. Inside of the site, they're trying to figure out where he is right now. And Sicko, he's been sick so far in this tournament. Oh! And once again, he's gone Sicko mode with a double kill. How does he land that? What? It doesn't get easy for running it. They've got to keep this consistent. Oh. Bomb control has been... Fine for Na'Vi so far throughout this CT side. Oh, nice shot from Simple. Alistair goes for the fight. Unable to get the kill. And 
simple. Isn't happy with one. Oh, oh, more, and he gets the shot through the oh. door. Another shot lands. Simple looking for it. He finds a headshot. Simple just taking over right now. Oh, he's going for more, oh. Dingo. He's going for more. Simple's hitting all the headshots with the orb, and it's going to be the ace. Simple puts Na'Vi to 15. He just fights everyone. I don't know what you can do to deal with Simple when he's decided it's his round. He eats them up one by one, shots through the door. When they're not peeking into him, he goes and finds his prey.